I have a great team of nurses and they're all very different. They come from very different backgrounds, lot different countries in fact. But what unites them all as healing professionals is that they have an extraordinary ability to uh, connect with people, engage them in conversation, and above all, listen. My colleagues love our nurses. They are so supportive of our patients. They are conscientious. They pay attention to the details, and they pay attention to the patient as a whole person. They bring laughter to our department, and they, they jolly everyone along. They're just, I think they're the, the glue that keeps us all together. All the breast cancer patients come with a level of anger, a level of anxiety, um, not knowing what to expect. Uh, their lives have been changed instantly. And so um, when they come to us, we have to set them at ease, make sure we set the, the scene for them to start their healing process. And uh, the nurses work with them, uh, to a lot of teaching about the medication, about what to expect. Um, once they're at ease, then the healing can begin. As a whole, people always ask, you know, how could you do what you do every day? And I think people don't understand how light the place is. It's much lighter. It's sort of a, we're going to beat this positive sort of energy place. And the nurses are all very upbeat and goofy and lighthearted. Certainly if patients aren't in that place, you know, we meet that. But for the most part, people are looking for us to entertain them and to keep it light and to just get them through those few hours two things that keep us motivated to continue the work we do is first of all it's the patients and how absolutely inspiring and graceful they are at this time in their life and it reminds us every day not to sweat the small stuff and it really is an inspiring job and people think it would be very difficult but I find it very reorienting. We look after the physical uh, comfort which is um, only one aspect but as an oncology nurse I know that just treating the diagnosis is just one aspect of the care. Healing the person as a whole is just as important. As nurses, we can listen, we can be non-judgmental, and we can validate their concerns and with that special trust in the relationship that has often been forged over many years. And it's, it's a very special relationship that we have. When I um, meet with patients or see them in the support group, they often talk a lot about the support that they receive within the infusion center from the nurses who are giving the chemotherapy. And what I hear time and again is that they really appreciate that the care is compassionate and clearly skilled, and yet there's this sense of levity and calmness that really helps them face what they're going through. I think people feel like it's, it's home in a way. Um, it doesn't mean it's not scary. It doesn't mean that they love coming to get chemo. But most people at some point find a way to choose to think of the chemotherapy as a tool and that they learn to partner with the oncology team, including the nurses. And in doing that, they're able to let go of some of the fear and anxiety. And I think the nurses help them get there by treating them as people. I'm just so appreciative to Zero Breast Cancer for having this Honor Thy Healer uh, opportunity for us to honor the nurses. They come from a place of their heart where they, they have such good technical skills, but over and above that, they have the ability to assess patients' coping mechanisms, to put them at ease, to understand where the patients are coming from, and um, work with each one with what they have to offer and to set, set a healing environment for them.